What's up folks, this is Joey from Rift Weaver and I'm here with this week's update for Tales of Fablecraft. And I have some pretty cool homebrew features to discuss with you as well as a nice uh, turn tracking user experience change that's coming your way. But before we get there, I have some studio housekeeping that I wanna take care of. Uh, first of all, this week is the week of 4th of July. We're a US based company and we're having a nice little summer holiday here. So if any of the Rift Weaver team are a little bit slower to respond on Discord or wherever, just know that it's probably because we're uh, taking a little break as we move through summer and gear up towards launch. We'll be back in full swing next week and we'll make sure that we get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Heck, we might even respond over break. I know that some of us <laughs> kind of love checking the Discord to see what players are up to. That's the first piece, bit of housekeeping. The second bit of housekeeping is that we probably, maybe, almost definitely have some big news to share about Fablecraft next week. This is something that you folks ask about a lot and we're hoping that we can share it with you soon. So if I were you, I would stay tuned. Um, and we actually put together something really cool for this announcement that I am super proud of and I think the team's done a wonderful job. So stay with us. Next week, we'll be making an announcement. Um, typically with these update videos, we try to shoot for Monday. That's when we try to release them every week to give you something to chew on for the week. Um, if we have a holiday, that Monday might slip to a Tuesday or Wednesday. So don't be surprised if the next update video comes out on Tuesday or Wednesday because of the holiday. I guess that was three bits of studio news. Sorry. So anyway, I want to talk now about some homebrew features. There's two sets of homebrew features that I want to talk about, and I'm going to start with music and soundscapes. We are putting the finishing touches on homebrew music and soundscapes right now. Uh, in fact, probably as I'm recording this video, there's a developer working on this feature. Uh, we're going to have music and soundscapes ready for Fablecraft's early access launch. Uh, you'll be able to, to upload an MP3 file up to 20 megabytes in size. And if you've used the homebrew environment tools, you'll probably recognize these menus that are on screen right now. This is work in progress stuff, so it may change a little bit. Um, you'll be able to name the track, uh, designate whether it's music or soundscape, give it some attribution, a little description, then hit that checkbox just to make sure that you're not being a jerk on the internet uh, and you're gonna hit upload and, and it'll work in the jukebox just like all the other pre-existing sounds and music work now. Uh, personally, I've actually got a Tokyo campaign that I've been building. I wanna be running something in Shinjuku with my friends and so I've got some Tokyo music uh, Tokyo themed music. I don't know, I wouldn't call it Tokyo music, but it's got that Tokyo feel to it. And I've also got some Creative Commons sound effects uh, from Shin Shinjuku Square that I'm going to be using. So that's what I'm using in this place. I'm really excited to run this campaign with my friends. And I think that it's coming together really nicely, but I cannot wait for homebrew battle maps, which is the other thing that I want to talk about. And that's an A plus for segues, Joey. Nice job. Homebrew battle maps won't be available for early access launch, but they are the next feature in the homebrew category that's coming from us at Riftweaver. Right now we're working on this. It's a proof of concept that you're seeing right now. It's something that was kind of a design spec work in progress image to kind of show the functionality of what we have cooking up uh, for homebrew map battle maps. You'll be able to upload an image of your choice probably going to be static at first, but we might get video support for these images in, in time. Um, and then you'll use the map tools to draw any walls or maybe some obstructions and to edit the uh, line of sight for your battles. We understand that folks out there have some third party battle map makers that they use and you might be uh, like sitting on a surplus of these battle maps that you want to get into Fablecraft really easily. We can't guarantee that this will work, but we are going to see if we can get importing work um, with some of those common file types that those map makers spit out. So no promises, but we understand there's a want, there's a need. We want it too. Heck, we, we want to be able to import this stuff as well. So stay with us. We'll announce if we support any of those third party map making file types uh, as soon as we can, probably much closer to when the feature is actually ready. The other thing that I want to talk about today is about user experience in combat. Uh, maybe there's been a moment or two where you've forgotten to take your turn or you've been distracted as you pop up to get a drink while your friends are doing their combat maneuvers and then you come back and stare at the screen waiting for someone else to move only to realize as your friends yell at you that you've been sitting on the your turn notification the whole time. Um, this is something that our community has requested on the, the feature upvote site, which I'll talk about that in a sec. And it's one that we've been asking for internally for a while. Uh, we've slightly overhauled the turn tracker. Um, that's that thing that runs at the top of the screen, you know, right, right up there-ish at the top of the screen during combat. 
the turn tracker will do a few things. So if you don't immediately take your turn after you get that notification, um, your player token and the your turn marker on the turn tracker will flash. Uh, if you are the GM and you pause combat, everyone's gonna see the, the turn tracker change color and then it's gonna gently flash just to signal that combat's paused and you're not waiting on anyone but the GM to kind of do something. Um, and then the third state that we have added is, is kind of a new look for the turn tracker. I don't know if you know this, and I didn't know this until kind of recently actually, but you can scroll through the turn tracker. Um, we've kind of made that more apparent now. We're like signaling that it's scrollable just with some visual design language. But if you just scroll with the mouse wheel, you'll be able to move horizontally down the turn initiative order um, in the tracker. So that's super useful, especially if you're the GM and you want to drag someone much closer to the next position. That's the turn tracker updates. We are really glad that they're here and they make combat feel that much better now that like your friend isn't going to totally forget that it's their turn. And maybe I am that friend. Uh, it is me who's the problem. The turn tracker thing, as I mentioned, that came from a feature upvote request. If you aren't using it already, if you head to fablecraft.featureupvote.com, you can submit some feedback for Fablecraft and you can vote on everyone else's feedback. And that's how we prioritize our community's requests and, and some of the stuff that they want uh, in the game. And, and, and it even works for bugs as well. If you encounter a bug that's a particularly nasty one and you want to share it with us, that's a great place to do it. You can also talk to us in Discord, of course, that's discord.gg slash fablecraft that's it for this week's update thanks for hanging out and don't forget next week we will be making a big announcement hopefully maybe maybe not i don't know maybe i've gotten everyone's hopes up too much <laughs> see you next week <laughs>